we're here at the 2020 Green Mountain Championships in Vermont. We've got Paul Yulbari, Jeremy Colling. We're gonna do a practice round. Got it mic'd up, so we're gonna go through the course, talk a little bit about strategy, probably talk a little trash here and there. All, all there. Probably make I? fun of my decisions to throw forehands on the backhand holes. Yep. And uh, we'll get just a regular round, yeah. But you're gonna get to watch it, so. I'm already annoyed. <laughs> All right, first shot, five bucks. Round, first score. Oh, first score? Yeah. One shot? Yeah, yeah, sure. Yeah. Yeah. Then practice after that? Yep. Looks good. Easiest yep. five bucks I ever made. <laughs> Jesus. All right. Every year I throw a forehand off this tee, and I say, next year I'm throwing backhand, but. I would stick with the forehand. Yeah? Alright. A little bit farther than yours, that's perfect. Alright, so right now, uh, you came up to me before I threw my first practice shot. Of course, your shot was perfect. Yeah. But then you come up to me afterwards and say, first shot practice round. Meaning you didn't have the pressure that I had on my shot. I don't feel pressure like you feel pressure. Well, either way. So. This is a normal thing that Paul and I like to do. We uh, do a first shot practice round. I'm sure many of you guys do the same thing, but we first shot practice round means you play your first shot off the tee just as if it were a tournament, and then you throw multiple shots if you need to afterwards. So that way you still kind of get the feel of a normal practice round, but you uh, also get to dial in any kind of insecurities you might have on the hole or try to dial in the right distance and so on and so forth. It's somewhere between 240 and 280. I two, got a distance. Two forty two forty exact thing. First sidearm of the day. Every sidearm that you throw is the first sidearm of the day. The way it comes out of your hand. This is what I'm gonna do to you today. Ready? Idiot. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Alright. That really was the first sidearm of the day, wasn't it? Yeah. It'll work though. That's some bounce. Yeah, I think so. Unless it gets that weird little roll deal. Sometimes I do. Yeah, I don't think it did. <laughs> Gotta learn this pinky. Yep, second side arm of the day. <laughs> That's typical also. Might as well get that on film. Paul just throwing out a turn. Paul practicing in a practice round? Yeah. Oh <sighs> boy. Oh, what on earth? That was that a hit? great kick. So the cool thing about this, as far as you guys being able to see it, is that you guys get to see a typical practice around between Paul and I where we get to talk the trash that's in our head that we normally want to say to the other player in a tournament, but PDGA sportsmanship rules and societal norms prevent it from happening. So we get to actually tell the other person how much we loathe watching them play. Sometimes you just know, like, I've practiced with them for so long that you just a little tiny, teeny little dee, 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 and it's a guaranteed five bucks. And then he has no idea what he's doing in a tournament, so then I beat him in the tournament too, so. Some people might call me mean, but I'm just a really good friend, you know? Build character for the guy. I better be in bounds. Jeremy, you stayed in bounds. That's good. What did I hit? Oh, I hit these little tree roots up here. I didn't. Mike, what happened? Oh, you're out of bounds. Oh, I'm taking this one. <laughs> Unbelievable. That's not how first shot practice round works, Paul. No. Oh no. Oh no. <laughs> he wasn't going out of bounds. He wasn't going out of bounds. He made it. Oh my god. That was wonderful. <laughs> How is that even possible? Oh, so many. You're out. <laughs> no, you're out. I'm away. All right. 
Oh, this putt was so hard until you did that. Now it's easy. Oh my God. Good catch though. That, cut it. Stop rolling, folks. That's all you need to show for the practice round. That was amazing. Oh God. That was amazing. It was curling up before the OB line. Oh. I got three. <laughs> three, three for Paul. That was weird. My mind doesn't remember that, but three for Paul. It's what he said, so it must be true. Six, right? Yeah, I think you got six. All right, so hole two, just a straight um, tunnel shot. It's not really that low of a ceiling for the distance. It's probably to what, 60? 270, it says. So um, it's just to pick out your straightest shot. For me, at the, the forehand with the AVRX3, you try to just kind of make it drift a little bit left at first and then hold straight. Um, there is OB long. Really, that's not the main problem. The main problem is just hitting these early trees and then kicking to a bad spot. So just make sure, make sure you hit the gap is really the only thing you really focus off the tee. Should be all right. Be a long uphill putt. Was that short or good? I think that's the right distance. Might be a little short. So I like that play, the Buzz SS. It's a little drift. What can be a town mode? But you're trying to stay down the middle, right? That's not, you're not trying to flex anything back door there. Whatever, just miss that one. Yeah, just miss the one. Yeah. That's all that matters. A little bit of a SWAT job. Yeah, it was fine. Mm -hmm. I'd take that drive, whatever. As long as you don't hit this one or this one. Such a pretty hole, you definitely wanna, obviously you wanna get your two on all the par threes, but this one's so, so much easier in concept as opposed to some of the more difficult holes later on in the round, like hole five, hole nine. These yeah. are the ones that you wish that are in hole 17 that you could have at the end of the round. This course is weird because you want to get the par threes, but they're all actually really tough. Yeah, this one might be the second easiest hole six being, or hole, yeah, hole six is the easiest hole in the course. And this got closer than I thought, and my like, AVRX3 is actually parked, so I don't know if I hit these trees or not, but I was expecting like a 25 footer. Well, there's no way you threw it there. <laughs> so I'm guessing it hit that Watch tree. Watch the replay, buddy, we'll see. We will see. Yeah, we will. <clears throat> what do you do on the next hole? I'm actually really curious. I actually, the next hole, I'm gonna jinx myself by saying this, but I've, I've only birdied this hole in the last four years. I've gone thumber over the top every single time. Oh, that's right, you're a cheater. Big time cheater on this next one. Maybe, I'll, like, maybe I'll throw the thumber, remember this morning? <laughs> yeah, yeah, this morning Paul said that he could throw a thumber better than me if he wanted to, he just doesn't want to because he's a quote unquote man. <laughs> I'm gonna say quote unquote man. That's not exactly what he said, but yeah, it's close enough. So hole three was a 300, 305. The uh, there's two routes they basically show you on this one. Very low seeing left side gap and the mostly taken down the right side, a much higher ceiling, a much wider fairway. Um, the problem with this hole is the green is really treacherous in that it slopes away from the basket downhill to an out of bounds area. So the play that I've gone with for a number of years is just the overhand thumber, try to get the distance right and have the disc just drop down and kind of take my luck from where that lands. Um, but it also becomes much more difficult with a headwind that we have today. So good practice. Good to see if it, if it will work if it gets windy. A little bit right. And Maybe. it stayed 45 feet up in the tree. Sweet. It fell. It fell? Yeah, I think it did. Right in the middle on top of the hill. Is that good? So what I like to do is actually do the more traditional play, which is what most professionals do, and that's throw a backhand on the biggest gap of all time. 
<laughs> and he's down four shots after two holes, so. <laughs> Is it really? Yeah. Oh my god. Man, that was a four. <laughs> oh. What are you doing though, Jeremy? I, I've birdied it every time since 2017. Okay. I've never missed this hole. That's insane. Can't argue with that. Yeah. Because this is a tough one. Yeah, this is, a, this is a tough one for sure. Like, that's the best shot I've ever thrown on probably OB. But I was saying before I threw the <laughs> shot that the, the headwind is the yeah. anti-thummer yeah, condition. That would make it really hard. What's up, Kev Jones? What up, dude? I'm just trying to find a hole to get on to. Sure. Rick's right in front of us. Yeah. I'll probably get up there um, somewhere. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm not in a position to birdie. Yeah, you are. It's practice. <laughs> yeah, see, dude. All right, you talked me into going for it. Good run, though. Uh. All right, so he got lucky, but... We're here at hole four, par four, straight headwind. We got kind of an island thing to the left, but mostly we're trying to get to the right island with a flex shot. It's actually always kind of a predominant headwind, right? Usually here. A yeah. little something to like yeah. make you nervous. If there is a wind, it's, it's coming into your face for sure. Do you throw the... I do. Dummy? I do. Yeah, so I'll show you guys how you're supposed to play it, and then he can... We, we have a pro and an am. Yeah. The, the world's best am and the world's worst pro. <laughs> ah, it's money. Nice. Thanks. If you would have hit that branch, it would have made my day. <laughs> <laughs> So that was only about 300, so not no, the greatest, perfect, but perfect. inbounds. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I wouldn't say so. <laughs> it's been so funny, just like clunk, <laughs> straight down into the. Do you see that flight though? That nuke isn't like crazy yeah. stable, but yeah. it like it's good. It goes too. It's not like having slow. a disc like that on a windy day is great because you can still get trusty glide and get mm -hmm. some good distance, but you know it's gonna spike down at the end. Yeah. It ended up being a great day. Yeah, it's beautiful when uh. When Paul woke me up and said, we're doing this today, said we're going to play for money, get up. I looked outside, the trees were blowing sideways, it's pouring rain. I said, no, no, <laughs> we're not doing <laughs> no, that. Actually, it's yeah, not thanks happen. for the invitation, but go find someone else. <laughs> but uh, then we looked at the forecast for the week and it seemed like it could be. There's going to be a day there, that is like yeah. kind of windy for sure. And there's going to be a sprinkly day. Yeah, there'll there be a calm is. day. There'll be a sprinkly day. There'll, there'll be many conditions, and it's always good to go out and practice no matter what. Did you don't drive me with the AM? No, no, no. AM okay. guy's back here. But I do have a tool that I did not have last year, and I got the Bushnell. So in the past, I've had to guess this distance, and I've incorrectly guessed so many times. Oh, my goodness. And I don't have to do that anymore, especially now that they have... The math eliminating feet measure. One dollar if you get the exact guess. You're exactly 45 feet behind me. <laughs> I'm 45 feet behind Paul. Yep. Okay, cool. <laughs> I'll give you a dollar if you guess exactly how far I am from the hole. No, 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 you can't <laughs> do that. That does not count. What's your guess? Uh. Oh, Jesus. I'm guessing it's uh, 312 feet. 321. 21. Maybe that's why I always have 33 footers. All right, 321 feet. I got a headwind, so I'm grabbing my concrete slab. Try to throw this kind of flat. Starting off about 50 feet left of the pin, maybe a little bit more than that. Oh, about 80 feet, 100 feet, straight out of bounds. Nice, not bad. At least it's safe. <sighs> that was awful. This is an important shot because I'm highly competitive and he's got me by three shots. So. <laughs> You're exactly 45 feet behind me. <laughs> oh gosh. 
Why is this a straight headwind now? The heck? Wow. Yeah, the same problem. Except for I actually have distance. And you actually do go out of bounds. Yeah. Wow, now you seem like actually you're 6'6". Six, six. <laughs> Before I didn't? No. <laughs> I, I guess I just I'm around you so so much that I like never put it together that you're just large yeah you know what I mean do you feel like you're just small and I'm normal or do you feel like like I'm not you're no if I saw you and I never met you before I'd probably be like damn that's a big dude yeah you know what I mean but because I'm like with you every day all right it's just goofy I'm like there's goofy again <laughs> there's the big glug I just don't think about it, I guess. Yep. Just like you're probably like, if you were to see me for the first time ever, you'd be like, oh my God. That's the most, most normal handsome, looking, handsome. Most, <laughs> most normal looking human being I've ever seen. I would love to make this. Oh, that's so bad. Sweet, no metal on any of them, perfect. How did we have a headwind the whole way and now I'm facing the same direction? I was just thinking tailwind. the same thing. Now I got a headwind. That's a prayer. It almost lifted, didn't it? I know. There you go. Player two's buried every hole. I know. And that's a good sign though, you know, like both of us overturned our drive approach. I didn't believe that you actually threw it like that. I just figured you shanked it. <laughs> okay. I didn't think it was really. Wow. Arguably one of the greatest forehands of all time. You think I just shanked it like that? Really? Wow. You said it yourself, arguably. <laughs> <laughs> oh <my God>. <laughs> <laughs> all right, I'm two up. <laughs> The positive thing that we got from that is, you know, we both felt that wind. We both kind of made the same air and read. My big thing is right now, I'm, I'm struggling with this for real, is my sidearm is going a lot further than it has in years past. And so I'm ripping over and I'm throwing uh, it like probably about 25 feet further than the last time I was here. You told me this morning that you're going to stop saying further. You're going to start saying farther. And then the first chance that you have on camera, you say further. Did I say that? Yep, you did it twice. Damn it. Farther. Farther. Idiot. Ugh. This is a absolutely frightening thing we're stepping onto here. Yep. All right, we're on hole five. Yeah, 445. And we got a huge right to left headwind. And... That's especially problematic when the, the biggest obstacle on the hole is the lake on the left. And then, if you just want to play it wide right to be safe, it's out of bounds all the way right. So, typically you want to get your disc high and spike down, but when you get it this high, it's really hard to make the right measurement with your prediction on where the disc is going to swing. So, you're going to take a pretty overstable disc and try to just barely hyzer before that backside bush there. Honestly, at this Did point, you guys know that I actually do whole breakdowns in less time than he just... All right, well, he just take it easy. <laughs> Let's see how it plays out. <laughs> Shut up, dude. That's your catch first, not mine. Oh, you're going big, wide guy. Nice shot. That's perfect. Yeah, that's in bounds. That's all you really want, Good. right? Yeah, I mean... I think imbalance is wonderful. <laughs> and the wind died down just in time for Paul to get lucky enough to throw his shot. Perfectly though. Almost aced it. Oh my gosh. That was sick. That was lucky. Good to see you, Perks. Damn, I got so lucky I spiked right there. I mean, on, the, on this hole, the grass helps, but it's like in a tournament play, you know mine's just hitting that thing and just rocketing out, hitting a little kid off of a long board oh, in the middle sure. of the water. For sure. 
<laughs> it's like worst case scenario <laughs> well, every time. If you actually, if it, all those things did happen in the way that you described it, <laughs> it wouldn't be the worst thing. It'd be pretty sweet to see. Yeah. Hopefully there'd be a camera to catch that because it'd mm -hmm. be sweet. In the belly though. Hits the kid in yeah, the belly. Yeah, no, not going to hurt him. Nothing hurt crazy. Anyone. Like he tries to catch it maybe and then he just falls down. This is a pretty common place for a decent drive to land, just short, but there's a lot of places where putts can be scary in this hole and this is not one of them. This is actually a pretty good place to be. Even though it's a headwind, 40 feet, it's not a bad place to get pretty aggressive. Ah, gosh, it's a fraction higher. Could lift. That's cash. Well, player B's on fire today. I like to spin those headwind putts low at the cage and just try to get like the slightest lift ever, but not that time. No way. I always have the hardest time when my foot's like down like that. Yeah. Do you ever go straddle in that situation? I'd rather put it backwards than straddle putt ever. <laughs> <laughs> For real. <laughs> oh man. Damn. Yeah, like doing this is like, if you see me like spin putting straddle, it's like yeah. I have nothing. Well, to be fair. And you get, you, you, get, you gained a stroke. <laughs> if I straddle foot. Like, congratulations, you won the tournament. <laughs> yeah, it's just like. You said you'd rather pet it backwards? You want to try that one? <laughs> I did. <laughs> uh, uh, hey, that works. There might be something to it. <laughs> I always seem to hit and roll, though, to here. Oh, my God. I can't believe that went in. CTP, five bucks? You got it. So, we're in the. Easiest hole in the course, hole six, uh, 290 feet, blind, hyzer, forehand. Um, some people throw backhand, but even the players who aren't big forehand players are still traditionally, generally going with the forehand here. How much for an ace today? I'll give you 200 bucks. Today? $200 yeah, ace? Right now. Yep, first shot. Right now, 200 bucks if I make it. But any hole today, first shot, 100? Sure. All right. I'm gonna ace right now. I'm gonna stack them. Oh no. Oh, that did not swing to the right like I thought mm -mm. it would. That should be an easy CTP. Yeah. I might have just lost the $5 that I'm gonna earn by beating you today. That's right. I don't know, that might be shorter than I'm left. Maybe. This is a deuce or die. You really, if you don't get the two on this one, it kind of hurts like a bogey. For sure. Have you ever missed it? I have missed it maybe maybe a couple times. Um, I've, I've, I don't know how, but I did. Yeah. But yeah. I've never missed it when I've ended up playing a good round, put it that way. Right? I can't remember if I have. I know I took a seven on the hole before. Yikes. During the Pro Tour Championships, like. Like the, the one, the like the. Semifinals or something, yeah. Oh, where you have to shoot the best round? Uh huh. <laughs> seven that? Yeah. Yeah, that's not good. Right, so that's some bounds on the wall over there. Ooh. Yeah. Go old fashioned walk off? Oh, no, I got that by far. No way. Are you kidding me? I'm 15. I get a meter. <laughs> oh, my God. That right. means I'm closer. For sure. <laughs> I'm a good four feet inside. You are not. All right. You're out, so it means I win five bucks. Go. I'm not out. This is my first shot. You're thinking that oh, you're... Oh, I, th I saw a different disc over there. My bad. <laughs> what were you talking about? <laughs> How'd you get that close? I don't know. Nice. I think I'm doing the most unpracticed thing I've ever done before, and that's mark a tee shot. Literally never. 
I hardly practice close putts in practice rounds, which is probably something I shouldn't do. Normally I'm just trying to work on how do I break down the hole, but some people like Ricky Wysocki get about 20 minutes of practice per hole. I don't know Why how did you do that. mark it? I don't know. I I thought the distance was good. I just thought that it was going to be close to the edge of the circle. Might have got a little spin out. This place can definitely get away from On a course like this, in the wind, with as much out of bounds out here, you pop five or six down. It doesn't matter if, who has the hot round of the day. You're going to be happy with your round. Right. And uh, it's just with thing. The, the way I break it down is with my distance. That's like best case scenario, unless I'm like, everything's going perfect. You're saying in the wind? Yeah. In the wind. Like yeah. wind definitely regulates my scoring possibilities like infinitely. Yeah, sure. Not many people that statement is not true to. True for. Except for every single one of the top players on the planet who yeah. throw a billion, million miles. I know, but we're not talking about those guys. <laughs> we're talking about normal humans. <laughs> Bummer. Uh, I think I'm going to be going, I think I'm going to try to go for a backhand, just try to throw it flat okay. and have it just drift a little bit right. Did you say okay or oh god? No, okay. Yeah. Bet. All right, you better have. So yeah, we're on hole seven. Um, hardest hole in the course. Not often you go from the easiest to the hardest hole in about 150 feet, but here we are. Uh, 12, 25. So the objective really is to... I don't know why. Would, why am I trying to go across? That's a second shot guy. This is not a. Damn it, he almost went. This is not a date where you try to go across this and try to be a four guy. This is a. You take a five and you're a hero. And so yeah, that was stupid. I'm just gonna take a concrete slab so and I'm close. gonna Damn. try to play down to that little bowl area that's kind of near the bridge. I, I thought he was Honestly, gonna go for it. If I got a five, I'd be absolutely thrilled. I mean, yeah. I think you should go over for sure. How many strokes do I have you by? Five. You're one up, so I gave a four. Four. Yeah, you would say that. <clears throat> Three, two. Oh. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh my God. Go, girl. Oh, how does that? What the heck? That's still in a really bad spot. You got to be 50, 60 feet left of that to be in the spot you yeah. want to be in. That's that's the bowl I was talking about. That's a good shot. Well done. All right. You going first or me? Go ahead. Here we go. Okay. You are really going for the fiver, huh? Oh, for sure. Hmm. That's sweet. Nice, dude. Thanks. It's crazy. I, I want to get a measure. I'm, I'm not going for this, but kind of give me a good idea of how much I want to try to bite off on my third. What do you think, Paul? Huh? To the pin from here. 525 feet. 582. And that's what's so tough about this is that it looks like it's right there in reachable range, but when it you see 582. Yeah, you can definitely get it though. Yeah, but even with that, that just tells me that even with a good 350 foot shot, I still have a bit of work to do. As he throws it 28 feet. That'll leave an easy approach. Good shot. Thanks. What disc is that? That was stable. That's a nice old Star Destroyer. I actually got that from Steve Mills. Ah, Millsy. 501. My exact. Are you a four guy today or are you a five guy? Huh? Are you a four guy or a five guy? Have you ever seen me lay up ever? I see you lay up all the time. I don't know if it's on purpose or not, but I see you lay up <laughs> often. Yeah, I'm definitely going for it. Pulled it. Get off that. No. No. Oh, my God. Such a pretty line. Exactly what. If you want to get that kind of distance, the right side, 
you're bringing those trees into play the whole way down. All right. Got it successfully down the fairway in three shots without going out of bounds. This is the one you don't want to mess up, obviously. A little bit wider than I like, but that should be fine. Nice. Uh -huh. Is that real? That, oh, that was your real one. Yeah. I was trying to make it. Pick up. Jeez, the respect this guy has, unbelievable. Five? Yeah, I got five. That's great. I got five, two. Yeah, that's why I'm gonna lay up to that left spot every time because I feel like I can still four it from laying up to the left. Hole eight, par four. It says it's only 675. It plays like every other 800 foot par four that you play. The second shot is, even with a good tee shot, is so far. The same grade that we just went downhill on seven, we're going back up. Big snake turnover drive, blind landing zone. Kind of a couple of difficult things to keep in mind here, trying to focus on what you want to throw. That's fine. Yeah, not a ton of distance, but pretty good spot. Yeah, it's in bounds, that's good. Yep. I feel like this hole is all about angle. Total, this is the most quintessential angle control hole that we probably see on tour. Wow. Uh, I heard the, the leafy leafage. Do you, think that, do you think it's fun? Yeah. You don't want to throw a second? That's exactly what I wanted to do. Where's my disc? Yeah. Okay. And it's going to be here. Get down, get down, down. That's fine. I thought it was lifting. Yeah, this whole but. place like so far, even if you get it a great drive, oh, it's yeah. still a full shot for me. And for me to get there in two, I've got to get a full flex backhand. That shot there was a nice one just because it's safe in the middle of the fairway, but all it does from there is just set me up with a pretty routine par unless something remarkable happens on my third. Yeah, I can't believe mine went to the bottom, the very bottom, in the water. Double OB. <laughs> Double OB. <laughs> uh. Dang, metal. Seven, eight, nine, man. That stretch of three holes. If you get through it under par, yeah. you are loving life. You are awesome. This is <sighs> like two up again. Damn. I'm I gotta get back to under. Hole nine, par three, 435 feet. This is oh, so tough. where to start? You gotta, if you throw it back in, which you're almost forced to do, you gotta push down the right side the whole way. And like hole seven, the OB line is thickly wooded and those trees grab your discs and the trees are on the OB line. So if you hit those, you most of the time go out of bounds. Um, and you don't have much space to hyzer out left. You've playing the hole for an, uh, just a three is impossible. There's not like a safe play. You have to be aggressive. Oh my God, that is a dumb mistake to make. OB left, didn't even have a chance. Absolutely horrible. I forget how hard you really have to throw this. Even though it's downhill, you have to commit. That was so pretty. That's still short. It's short because I got that stupid was middle that the wind. Yeah, that would have been perfect, except for I must have caught like a middle wind, dropped it. Anytime you're putting it all in this hole, you're like... Yep. 
But now I'm halfway up the fairway out of bounds. So that's good. Swing. That's good. Swing. Do you have like a new one of those in What's your that? bag? Do you have a new one of those? I don't. If I want something to fly like a new AVRX3, I just throw my mortar. Mm. I didn't go with mortar there because I don't want a skip. I just know you throw it so so much that I'm wondering if you like, if you lost it, you'd kind of be toast. I've got another one that's oh, okay. not beat up as much. But yeah, it would be a bad thing for my game if I didn't have that disc in it. Little three quarter run. Yeah, like sometimes I'll like catch it on my, on that good spot and it'll shoot out and then it's a run, but most of the time it just flops like that. So you're saying fine. when you make a mistake is the best chance for it to go in? Yeah, kind of. <laughs> That's awesome. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, I'm not really running it, but I kind of. Yeah, I, it's like I maybe have, if it's everything... going with purpose. I'm right. running up with purpose. Right. If I juice it, it could go in, which I want <laughs> it to, of course. Of course. But also, if I juice it, I could go way past. All right, nine holes in. I'm at two under par. I would say that's okay. That's pretty good. Not the greatest, but not bad. That's really good. Only one bogey on the front. In the, in the wind, two under, that, that's actually a good number. Yep, I'm at two up. And again, back nine. Go back nine, you could finish at three under. Yeah, I need, I, need to, I need to get to four would be a goal of mine, which I'd have to shred, but. Yep. I feel like I'm capable of shredding. You got shred in you, for sure. Hey, what's up, everybody? Hope you're enjoying the mic'd up practice round with Big Berry Commentary. I just want to let you know we have another exclusive video that just dropped on our Patreon over at patreon.com slash jomezpro. It's the final round of this year's Ledgestone with Ricky Wysocki and Kevin Jones. I'm going to give you a quick little preview of that. Oh my lord. Hit. That disc has never done that before. What? All right. Back to zero, baby. <laughs> that's a great feeling. <laughs> God, that's a great feeling. God. I hate being over par. Yeah. Don't you, Rick? Yep, nothing worse. <laughs> Nothing worse. Good shot. Sit down. down. Okay. Yeah. And it's outside. That's what I'm talking about. <laughs> <laughs> nice, Kev. Thank you. Oh, I felt like I was too close to jumping on that last hole. Too close to jumping? Yeah. Cheating? Like, literally felt like I, like, dunked it you know what i mean like right <laughs> that's when you know that's when you're dialed feels like a slam dunk all right hope you enjoyed that quick little teaser it's a 30 minute video over on patreon.com slash jomez pro now back to the practice round 295 feet basically take your stock hyzer disc whatever it is probably going to be a firebird for this guy yeah it depends on the wind but right now the the hillside's blocking the wind, so Firebird probably is a good play. This is probably playing as like the easiest hole for us, right? Yeah, this and six. I mean, the six is gonna be a little bit easier, but this is gonna be second second All easiest. Right. Well, I'm gonna put a little pressure on you. Oh, that could go in. That's gonna be a little short, short but pretty good. Yeah, that's 20 feet. Seems to happen a lot in this hole. You feel like you got the distance dialed up right, and if you don't see the disc, it means you're still probably 30 feet short. Or 25. Could you see my land? <laughs> Even from my angle, I couldn't. No. That's better. Nice. Go up to the right. Uh-oh, big skip. Really? No. <laughs> <laughs> Damn, mine was way short. What the heck? Oh, I rolled. That's why. Okay. <laughs> I did. There's not a chance you rolled. Look with my disc. It's upside down. Now is there a chance? If it's if it really is upside down, then there's a good chance it rolls. But <laughs> it's definitely upside down. I can't see a stamp on it. Huh? That might not even be your disc. <laughs> <laughs> All 
I was way short. Here's my mark. <laughs> it actually flopped forward. But, so it really? rolled forward. <laughs> That's funny. How does that stay up? That was such a good putt. Oh boy. Nice. Par four, 575. Um, yeah, I mean, it's pretty straightforward. At least the tee shot is. You can see what's out of bounds. You can see what's in bounds. The tough part is that the green gets really small. Um, a lot of trees in the way, so. Thought there's this. one tree. <laughs> Down the bottom of the hill? No, I thought there's no, one no, tree. No, 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 no. I'm talking about the green. Mm. The green is tough. Here's easy. Really tough. Should be. Really. Really, really tough. Whoa, you go sidearm flex? Okay. I was thinking just like dump sidearm hyzer. Yeah, I like that. Yeah. That is such a stock shot for real pros. Yeah, just sub in stock pro shot. There it is, easy backhand through the gap, finish left. Leave yourself with a putter approach, walk the next <laughs> hole with your three. Germ's like, sidearm flex. <laughs> Dude, I'm doing <laughs> He's the hardest I'm, shot ever. <laughs> off the tee, I'm, like calculus is going through my mind. I got like the quadratic equation and trying to figure out the hypotenuse or something. I don't know what, but. Yeah, it's it's a little bit more more challenging the way that I play it. I don't mind being left, and I'm, but I'd rather be right, like you're saying. Yeah, I, I I think when I I think it might be like the one there might be like maybe a handful of times that doing commentary has actually helped me develop a game plan mid tournament by watching what someone else did. Yeah, I try to break things down the best possible as I can in practice, and sometimes I just miss a an easier strategy for the hole. And like I said, last year watching Paul McBeth go off to the right side reminded me that forehand's a good play. Yeah. <sighs> nice touch, dude. Ringer? Thanks. Yeah. Sweet. The farther I go up here, the easier the side. You planned it. That wasn't just natural. You thought about that four seconds before you said it. Thought about what? Yeah, right. <laughs> well done, though. <laughs> wow, luckiest kick of all time ever. Jesus. Please. Playing with Houdini over here. <sighs> That's the problem with going off to the right side is that angle those trees go from here to here very touchy on that approach I bet you I'm at 30 feet still though it's hard to get yeah, you, all the way right. down there I always play it to like 30 feet because any farther yeah that one comes into play you know what I mean yep you are you are correct so you're one step inside the circle I've been there like every time this week this is you said it's practice, right? <sighs> Come on, Brian. Oh, oh, there's no oh, nice there. dodge. Yeah, it will be. Oh my God, dude. This is a good spot to practice though. Oh, oh my God. Buckets. <laughs> oh my God, I just <laughs> ruined it. I'm like this behind your shot. <laughs> So not only am I out of bounds, I'm 35 feet long, so that's good, behind trees. Come on, man. I haven't made a damn putt all day. Just putt it. Freaking that's an opportunity you took full advantage of. Idiot, did not realize out of bounds was right here. Can you get your ramps out of the basket, please? All right, I'll get them out.
<laughs> You're the worst. <laughs> Ah, good putt, good putt. Stupid five. Perfect position off the tee, still bogey the hole. Jeremy, explain this hole. <laughs> All right, what well, I'm gonna do. We'll switch it up. You don't know what I have. What are you gonna do? Yeah. All right, well, Paul's got a Nuko S in his hand that he's gonna do a little semi-flex, try to get to that left side, which will open up the approach. Try to get about 380. Maybe 390 off the tee would be a good landing zone. The hole's four, or 720 feet, so try to set yourself up for that mid 300 foot approach. But uh, yeah, this one's, this one's difficult because the landing zone's blind. How much of that was right? None of it. All right. I'm gonna throw a hyzer to the left side. With a nuke, not a nuke OS. With a nuke, yeah. If I flex it, it's trouble. Okay. And then I'm aiming for the little tee pad up there to the left. Yeah, that's nice. Yeah, that tee pad up there is a great visual marker. Yeah. The tee pad itself is 375 feet, so I think the ideal spot is about 20 to 25 feet past that. That's still sh too short. I might switch this. Really? Yeah, I'm way short. I, I want to be yeah, further this one's, left. It's not. It's it's very easy to not commit to the shot because it is blind and there is out of bounds that can come into play. You have to throw it really far to bring that OB into play, but to be in a good landing zone, you kind of have to throw it far. That's cash. Yeah, that's money. Nice, Jim. That'll give you hyzer and maybe even. Maybe, yeah. I think I, so. I like that. Cash into money. One up. Coming back for that neg. Oh, yeah, it's my second bogey. Um, Brings me to two under. You want a distance measure? No, I got it. All right. It's about this far, right here. No way! I stepped in a gosh dang hole. <laughs> Dude, look at this. Not your typical practice round. Paul just said gosh dang. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, what the heck is that? <laughs> I don't see a problem with it. Yeah, I bet. Huh. That's the best I ever played this hole. I throw, I throw this under the bonus birdie category. I mean, not that that really makes any difference to anyone else but I, I feel I feel really good with the birdie here like better than I do with most of the holes <clears throat> no it's all about the tee shot like you get where you are and then you can just play hyzer and it's just so easy yeah yeah I mean it but from it where a, I am I have to like trust some crazy angle and a tailwind that's the most common mistake on this one is not getting enough distance and then having that really awkward early turn angle yeah. Those trees don't really force you, or don't allow you to do anything else. No. You gonna shoot that one down again? Wow. Of course. <laughs> oh my God. Who's up on top of there? Uh, Paul McBeth, Avenger SS. You know him? That was sweet. Nice save. Hole 13, 350 feet. Another blind par three, just over the crest of this hill. Um, you want to pretty much bring your swinging hyzer pretty close to that power pole. I'm going to go with a, a Thunderbird, but you'll often see a lot of mid ranges thrown on this one. A little bit too far, too, too wide for my liking. 
Yep, hit the power pole. There you go. That's got a little bit more hyzer line on it. That's what you look for. That's perfect. Should get a good skip right to it. Oh boy, nice effort. <laughs> yeah. Give it a go, come get, on. Get focused. Throw Talking to Brian, not me, I'm gonna make it. Yeah. Wow. Oh. Nice. <laughs> nice birdie. Thank you. Again, that's another just stock hyzer for a pro guy. I'm pretty sure I'm just a basic pro. I think we established from early on that you're one of the worst pros. Yeah. I'm like kidding. I miss all the hard holes, but then the stock, the stock shots, it's just like bink, bink. Easy peasy. <laughs> you, you execute those shots that are like, you must execute very well. It's at those times when I feel like my definition, how I define myself as a pro, changes drastically. I'm like, everyone else can do this, this is easy. Let me try it. <laughs> I invent new ways to suck. Ow. You need to be better at that. No, I, More I, confident. I, I, well, I mean, I'm confident going into the shot. It's not until after the shot that my confidence decreases. Yeah, okay. <laughs> right when it leaves my hand, I'm like, oh, I have way too much confidence for how good I am. <laughs> <laughs> oh, boy. Uh, I can relate to that. <laughs> my confidence level to execution ratio is funny. This one, I always think that I want to push it right. Yep but I never want to push it right, honestly. I kind of want to just throw it straight. Stock shot. Straight. This right. is a stock hyzer shot. Insert stock pro play. <laughs> That's me. Insert birdie. Perfect. Get a good skip and you're looking good. Uh, yeah, That's fine. hard to tell if that's going to be an open look or not, but we'll see. Wasn't the greatest skip like two feet further and it's like two yeah. feet. Two feet farther and it's great. I threw a little further. <laughs> farther, Paul, farther. Just like that. That's cash. That looks Missed that. good. Oh yeah. Yep. So that back side is a lot more open. That's what you're looking for. Yeah, you just threw it a little bit farther than me. That sounds so stupid. I'm not saying it. I know. I know. You it's, threw it a little further than me. Yeah. I don't care. No. Troll me. Ooh. Troll guys. I don't <laughs> troll care. Troll bar. Yeah. <laughs> Can't believe Paul didn't go to school. Yeah, of course I didn't go to school. I'm good at disc golf. <laughs> Jesus. Leave me alone. <laughs> Who cares? <sighs> playing for $1,000. <laughs> <laughs> You're playing for an A on a test. Yeah. Good luck. <laughs> Stay in school, kids. Oh yeah. my God, please stay in school. Please stay in school. Do not drop out and start <laughs> playing pro disc golf on Paul or Jeremy Colling's account. Nope. You do not want to be stock pro Paul. All right, just inside the circle, probably right behind the biggest tree in the forest. Yeah, you're, you're on the not so favorable side of the green, but it's doable. Yeah or no? Oh uh, yeah, it's fine. A little uncomfortable, but Left the ones you got to make if you want a chance at the championship of the world. That was a great putt, man. All right. That was a really nice putt. And he's back to Schmeven. Nice, dude. Well, it's been a grind. Birdies on two of the last three. That puts me at four. Nice. I'm gonna skip this one right in the bucket. All right, hole 15, 315 feet. 
This is into the woods that feels a little bit more like Brewster Ridge across the road. I don't think it's 315 feet. I buy it. it. I don't buy it. I can measure it through the yeah, woods. Yeah, measure there. it through the, see if you can measure it through the little gap there. I bet right, you it's like see, 270. As, I, yeah, there's a nice clean gap through here. I gotta get to my knee. Three thirteen. Really? Yeah. Why are they just? Why do they get these signs wrong? Probably <laughs> <laughs> they had a, how how they had a bush and a range finder when they originally <laughs> marked these. Oh, go in the hole. Wow. Please. One wow, time. that's so good. Come on. Oh, in and out. Oh. Give me that hundo, son. You missed it. It didn't go in. I know. Oh my gosh. <sighs> you said in practice that you hit basket sidearm and then you threw a back yeah. and then you hit the cage or well, the other way around. I wonder if I just hit the back side of that. No, I sidearm cage, backhand top. And then you just skipped up chain out. Ah. <laughs> oh my God, dude. I'm so glad that, that didn't go in. Actually, no, <laughs> I wish I had, but financially Andy, I'm glad that didn't go in. That, I couldn't have thrown any better. Wow. And you threw a flip up the whole way. Yeah. Okay, so that's interesting because I, I feel like this sets up for pushing kind of a stable fairway driver to the back edge and then hyzering in late, but you're standing it up the whole way. I'm trying to stay away from that left side is why. Yeah, I feel that. I like that idea. Man, I don't know what I would throw that would match that line, but I, I'm going to You wouldn't be it. able to duplicate that probably. Oh, I don't think I would. That was insane. That's nice, though. Nice shot. Oh my god, what did I hit? One of those troll nerds we were talking about? <laughs> I wish. Oh my god, it just stopped on the ground. Did not skip. Did you do it again, dude? Maybe. Go in. Oh, how did that miss? Unbelievable. <laughs> oh my god. What is this? You're insane at this hole, my God. Damn. <laughs> Dude, that's, I've been so sick that, that is one so of sweet. Stuff. I mean, you told me about it this morning. I'm like, yeah, right, do it on camera. And you just did. <laughs> there it is. Now, that's too far straight, I think. I don't know. Yeah, it's, it's all right. It's nice. But I do like the flip up down the middle line. That was, that was Try so your pretty. One thing. My eagle? My yeah. flip up? Yeah. It's not going to skip like you threw a nuke. No, I threw a force. That, oh. one, that yellow thing you keep calling a nuke is a force. No, I just thought all you threw was nukes. No. You're going to learn a lot from that one. <laughs> nice. <laughs> Dial. <laughs> if my run up isn't actually necessary at all. I hope you know that, right? I do it because it looks smooth and pretty for people. <laughs> I can throw a standstill the exact amount of distance, the exact amount of consistency. So anything I do pre-shot, all flare. Do you think I might, I'm still in the basket and we just saw it kind of not going, but it's um, actually in? Hit? Hit no, kind of heavy. To be honest with you, no, I don't think that's the case. <laughs> yeah, me neither. Because I saw it not going, but <laughs> I was just hoping. That was so cool. I wonder, I'm curious about the Comets shot, how close that one was. Because that had to have been oh, real close. Oh, it was flashing chains as well. That was sick. You know what's crazy? That stupid behind the back, under my leg shot that was in the woods. Same distance as my beautiful shot to hit <laughs> this thing and stopped right there. Uh -huh. Or it hit that rock. What did I hit? I don't know. Whatever, Whatever it did, it just stopped. Mike, did that go through the bucket? Damn, that sucks. Left side. That's a good one. Player B is on fire. So you're saying, what about the second shot? That I that my second shot first. The comp, that one? He doesn't, he, he, no. no, not really, okay, never mind. No. Yeah. Oh, yeah. dang it. Through the chains. Okay. Chipping away at that lead. That's right. And you're finally under par for the first time. One down. Coming Dang, for that four down. Dude. This you get is how four. all our practice rounds end up seemingly happening or working out. 
Deep pushes at the end. I Deep know. Pushes. It's like I like made an air for that to happen. You just made a good putt on the last one and Parked aced, the one but that you aced one. it twice. Um, this one I'm going to throw a really far perfect shot, so good luck. Yeah, this might be the... This one you got to push near 400 feet, maybe 380 to be in good mm -hmm. position to attack. I mean, the I see people go mid-range all the time and it's fine. Yeah. Yeah, so it's just keeping it down the middle. But the problem is, for me at least, is that there's no forehand that can stay in the middle. The way that this fairway slopes down the hill and left to right, they all finish down out of the position. So this is a backhand tunnel shot, which is not my most comfortable shot, something that you're really great at. So good for you. <laughs> Thank you. All right, got to keep pushing on this guy. didn't flip oh it. no and there's ob left and needs to kick right and it kicks left there's no ob left there's no oh i just saw that white stake what is that white that's stake? that's the that's the t-pad okay well that's good because that would be kind of overkill and punishment I'm as far as this hole goes me out to the middle huh this thing gets me every time that stupid hole at the top of the t-pad oh the little dip right here yeah yep so it's not a bad idea. Sometimes when I see that, I put down a marker on the tee. That way I just remind myself to... It's illegal. No, it's not. Yes, it is. You can put a towel down on a tee box, but you can't put a mini? Yeah, you can't put a helping, something helping to give you a distance. What is that? That's not Lisa a rule. Lisa uh, just put her bag down in the fairway and got stroked. You can... Okay. You're saying that I can't throw from behind here because that's there? I'm saying you can't put a visual marker in front of your lie. Maybe in the fairway, but not on the tee box. The tee box is fair. No. All right, I'll challenge you on that one. We'll look that one up later. But this, okay. I know, is legal. Yeah, you can use that as, like, to put your foot on there. I'm not going to put my foot on it, Paul. That's the trick. And just like that, you get stroked. Not a chance. <laughs> yeah, they just don't lie. <laughs> like that's just such a that's it's like a the silly time rule. I agree. When you but called it is. me, when you said that it was illegal for me to hold an umbrella in my off hand while I putted, no, I this is the same not. thing. You and Paul try to hound me. No, about I, this the only reason I'm saying this is because I'm telling you, Lisa just got lit, just got stroked for this exact thing. For oh. putting a visual marker down. And yeah, she put her bag down the fairway. Yeah, sure. But this is different than putting something on the tee box. Oh my gosh. You're right. You didn't put it down the fairway. You put it on the tee box. It's still the same thing. Turn. Oh, I did get to the middle. <laughs> is that your tee shot? Yeah. Oh, that's bananas. <laughs> I'm going to freaking three it. That's hilarious. Uh, yeah, okay. right. There ain't I no three in that. I see mine. Can you throw me whatever I need? Nope. Okay. Do you see mine? Like your actual one? Oh, or? I see it over there. No. What do you need? Guess it's uh, a good thing. Honestly, I can't. This is the worst pot you... You should come over here for comedy purposes. Oh, yeah. What do you need? Uh, this? Sure. It is an absolute tent. I've, I've crawled inside a tent and zipped it up. And the zipper broke. Oh my gosh. Yeah, this is like pretty... Yeah, you gotta go there. I'm gonna try to flex the forehand up farther. Oh, wow. He's getting a little crazy. You want me to try Just go ahead and go. Mm -hmm. Just so we can get this laugh out of the way. Especially if you can be a genius like that. That was sick. Yeah. That was nice. Turn. Ah. Turn. Yeah. And that's out of bounds. That is so challenging. Will you see if my disc is in bounce? Where is it? It's going to be pretty close, honestly. It's right behind that, to the left. Yeah, you're good. In bounds? Yeah. Yeah, it's over the line. Wow. Holy crap. 
It's kind of surprising. Nice shot, Germ. Gonna have to earn it though. Could he leak another strokey, strokey? You're in the fairway too? <laughs> yeah. Oh my God, this is annoying. <laughs> God. That's money. Nice shot. All right, pressure's on. You gotta make a big one. Otherwise, two with two to play. Yeah, that's basically two with one to play. We're both gonna par hole 17. <laughs> <laughs> Look at it, it's on a high rise. Was it like that before? Yeah, like it's, it's yeah, way it's, up it's been there. It's been elevated. Did I even make it in the circle? Um, right on the edge, right outside. All right, so what I have to do, what I've learned so far is I have to miss the first one. And then I make the correction and I make it on the second one. So here we go. I missed it. Oh, and that ain't no gimme coming back either. Yeah, player B didn't even come in the freaking stupid. <laughs> I'm gonna give this one a good old college try here. <laughs> oh. Let me get that out of your way. <laughs> Tuffy. Why does a par in 16 feel like a birdie? He hasn't parted. Stupid headwind. Oh, good putt. How does he make Shut that? Shut up. I thought for sure he was done, though. That's all right. He'll bogey. I think I'm going to go birdie, birdie, and he's going to go birdie, bogey, <sighs> tie game. Tie goes to me. Because he was beating me the whole time. So it is 400 feet. Wow. I just got you by one now, right? Yeah. I'm at two down and you're at one down? Mm hmm. All right. So I can see the bush now flags, but I don't see the flag of the hole. Hole 17 is 400, blind, hyzer, right to left slope the whole way. There's OB right around Circle's Edge. We saw it come into play in 2018 when Anton was tracking down Barsby and his shot just picked up and inexplicably rolled OB, which I'm expecting your shot to do here. Your turn. I just hear fear in his voice. It's like calming. It's a little bit wider than I think you'd like as a professional. Yeah, that's going to be borderline OB because of no lift. Damn it. But it might be in. Part. Jesus Christ. <laughs> <laughs> that's definitely not in bounds. Oh, actually, good push. They're in the same spot. So, we did what we did on hole three and I didn't trust that you just shanked your shot or that you threw the right disc and shanked it. I thought you threw the wrong disc, so I stuck with my gut and threw the wrong disc and I also shanked it. Yeah, we're out of bounds, I think. You think we're both OB? It's, I'm, I don't know about yours. Yours got a nice little lift. Mine never lifted. Yeah. Which means that I could certainly. If I had the distance right, I'll be fine. But if I juice it, which I think I did, I'm toast. I need to throw the Raptor. Yeah, I think I think stable is the key. Just trust the spike. Trying to throw like a delicate shot that kind of. See, because yours is way left. Fine. Yeah, I don't see mine. I am in bounds, but not happy. Mine will not be then, because that was further, <clears throat> farther, farther, Paul. Ah, no, you're in bounds. Oh, let's go. Oh my God. Let's go, dude. Oh my God. You better lay it up because that's what I'm going to do. Oh my God, I airballed <laughs> oh, it. Get I in. airballed it. Oh, yes. This is my At least one that's chance. a valiant effort. That first one was garbage. All right, what's this one? Oh do? my God. 
Why is this every practice round we've ever played? This is oh. every round we ever Let's played go. together, Paul. It's so annoying. <laughs> Let's go, dude. How do you shank two shots out of bounds in a row and both of them end up in the perfect spot? Two holes in a row. Here you go. Oh, God, that feels good. Tie it up, going to the last hole. Uh. Good putt, though. Uh. I already got my $5 CTP, so, you know. It's a good way to think about it. No pressure going into this one. I'm already up. I'm already ahead. You owe me a dollar. I owe you a dollar for what? Chaining out. Metal. We're playing 51 or whatever? Yeah. Or we're playing 101? Yeah. <laughs> so you owe get $4, so I have no pressure. Either. All right, all right, all right. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Did I just go five down and six holes to snag a piece of the lead basically six down the last six because 16 plays like a yeah million par and now hole 18 hardest hole ever i can't believe i made that jump but <laughs> I, just, I can because it's because i did a practice round that we play this is literally what happens every practice round well you had the lead though from hole one till now i know I'm not even play, play well. You had three shots on the first hole. Well, yeah, in the first hole, yeah. I've had four most of the round. How are we gonna throw this inbounds? <laughs> I'll explain. Do the thing. Okay. We say the stuff. Well, yeah, we're here. Last <laughs> hole. The famous hole 18 at Fox Run. 775 feet, but doesn't play that far. Going big downhill the whole way. Landing zone every year is just brought farther left, forcing those tee shots to go big to get to the biggest bulk landing zone. It's gonna be a big driver over OB for 90% of the way if you wanna get down there for an easy approach, but into the headwind. Head cross. Head crosswind, it's just, it's anyone's guess right now. I'm so glad you got the tee box here. Me oh. too. Oh, thank God. Cause that means I birdied the last hole. Feels good. That's pretty overstable. That's going to get down in time. That's so nice. Oh, yes. And you got to anti skip somehow. <laughs> that was outrageous. Good luck, bud. That was outrageous. All right, I'm going to go with my next most, the most overstable destroyer I have. This is good for tournament play because he's feeling pressure. There's definitely pressure on this shot. And he rips the perfect line. Nice shot, Germ. Damn. Oh my God. Damn, this is tough. Mine, I'm so far back. The one thing that really, really, really is tough for me is that power line. Is this perfect height from when I'm at that T pad. Uh -huh. For the sidearm, you know, you need yeah. that yeah. that distant height. The the approach here is is um is made difficult if you don't get a huge chunk off the tee box. Yeah. With just the, uh, do you go wide with a power skip but that doesn't skip? I'm gonna throw a stick, Or are oh, you going back in hyzer? I think so. There's also down the middle line, which is really difficult as well. When you so. barely throw it in, that's, you know, that's some money play. It's actually more of a headwind, so that hyzer's no buen. No good. The last couple days I've done it. <clears throat> Dig. Wow. wow. What a shot. Thank you. Dude, this is far. <laughs> That's great. All right, a little match play action. I love match play. I've heard that you buckle under the pressure sometimes, so it's nice to, to know that I have the advantage. Typically, I haven't been the great match play player in my career, but. Have we ever played a match against each other? If we did, I won. Got did? an impeccable record in match play, my friend. 
Have we? Did we play the Players' Cup once? Because if so, then you probably lost. <laughs> 275. Eh, no, I'm going to go mortar. Mortar, he's going mortar. This could get like a little short. Go. Down. Start swinging. Nice shot. Wonder who's closer. This would be so dumb if we tie. Just your usual two players shooting maybe three under for the championship situation here at Fox Run. My heart's beating. <laughs> my heart's beating the only miles an hour. <laughs> this is good practice because this, this yeah. is definitely how it feels. Yeah. Just coming down the stretch. I mean, for, obviously. For the win, it day. would be closer to nine under. Not, not today. Maybe not, not if you've separated yourself. Yeah, maybe not. I think I'm going to be closer. <sighs> Uh, I'm further. Yeah. Yeah, that's. It might be a putt at the same time type situation. Uh, I'm gonna go. Okay. Oh my god! No! I thought I'd live. Good putt. <laughs> Unbelievable. All oh. that work. <laughs> That's fun, shooting. dude. Thanks, man. Oh. God, you were right. Match plays the worst. <laughs> I love it. Oh, it's my favorite. All right, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed watching our practice round. Uh, it was a lot of fun. Good battle there at the end. Paul coming up just a bit short. Uh, Gosh, so no. embarrassing. You're welcome, world. <laughs> but uh, yeah, that's typically what a practice round looks that's like right. for us yep. on tour. We try to make it fun, try to work out different shots, and uh, you know, every once in a while, if you get a scoring round in, it's a good thing. Absolutely. Make sure you guys tune in this Friday for the Green Mountain Championships here in Vermont. Big Berry commentary coming to you this weekend. Can't wait. See you there. Don't miss the action. <laughs>